Hello everyone, this is Chris from Estelle Harmony. Thank you for joining me. Today's video is going to be about making a little favor box like this that looks like a coffin and which has a lid. You can open it and see what you can have inside. Put some candies here, chocolates. It can be a really nice decoration to put inside your house, in, in a plate for your guest if you're inviting a few people home. So I think this is going to be a great idea. I just wanted to show it from a little closer. I think it's really nice. Use whatever pattern pa uh, pattern paper you have. And I've put it here, a little decoration. Also, it's a bird. It's supposed to be just a, a bird. It could look like a scarecrow. Use what you have. This scarecrow or bird comes from a uh, die from Sizzix and they work in your big shot with no problem. I don't know about the other machines. It's a cr it's supposed to be a crow. Okay, um, so there it is. And I'll tell you how I did this. I will show you too. For the cross, I just made one. And I think the more cricket it is, the better. This one is more cricket than this one. And I think it looks even creepier on your, uh, on your coffin. So, in order to make this, this is what you will have and need to do. There is a wonderful website um, and I will put of course the link underneath below in the description box where you can go and you will be able to find this box. I will put the direct link to it and the only thing you'll have to do is put your measurements. You can do this any size you want as long as it's going to fit on your printer or maybe you could that, do this in different sheets and then glue them or stick them together with tape but I'm sure you could make a very big one. So is going to be in two sheets. The small sheet here is going to be the lid and the big one here is going to be the box. So you just enter your measurements. You can enter them either in centimeters or in inches, just how you like it the best. Just to give you an idea about this box, it's four centimeters by ten by three, which means the box, not the lid. The lid is a little bigger. So the box is ten centimeters long by three centimeters height and here is four centimeters so that's what they would call the the width that's the largest part here of your box it's going to be a little bigger here for the lid okay and i've got only the lid here that has one centimeter which is about eight it's about three eighths of an inch here and this is about four um i think it's about four inches so you, you will make it the size you want with no, no problem. Here it's a pattern paper that I printed out. So what you can do is, so this is the pattern paper I printed out. I thought it was really nice. And then on the other side, I print out my two templates. So one thing really important when you're going to cut these templates is that here, I hope you can see them well, you have red lines all around here. And inside here you have dashes. That's your fold lines, okay? So you really need to cut onto the red lines. And if you don't cut very well, I'm not a specialist in cutting, You, it would be preferable for the outer lines here, not the little tabs here, that's not that important. But on the big ones here, the outer ones, I would recommend cutting either right on the red line or slightly inside it, slightly. Because you're gonna fold this piece on itself and if it's too long it's going to come here and it's going to be a mess when you're going to fold your box and put it into place so either right cut it on the red line or just slightly inside for the little flaps here it, it, it doesn't matter so by the magic of the video I already cut mine so I used a different pattern paper and this one is um, a normal one and this is a very thin paper it's rather thin compared to this one but I'm sure it's going to make the trick too. Just mm, be aware that if the thinner the paper, if you put a lot of wit in it, it might, you know, be not so sturdy. So I would recommend using a heavier piece of paper, but I wanted to use this one because I really thought it was nice. So once you have done all your cutting and you have done all your folds, I would recommend using something like a um, piece of foam. This is a thick piece of foam I have here. You can use two or three pieces of foam and do with the ruler do your um your do your folds like this pre-do your folds you score you know like this on something that is a little squishy because it's going to help you so do your scoring everywhere and once you've done your scoring lines 
you should really burnish this very well because this is what's going to help you having nice straight angles like this. If you don't do that, it's going to be rounded and it's not going to look that nice. Trust me, I've tried this before. So you're going to burnish and really mark all these folds. And there's one place I've been doing this too hard. I've been doing my score lines too hard and I almost ripped the paper. But I hope it's going to be, yeah, it's here, I think. I'm sure it's going to be just fine. Yes, yeah, it's, it's in here. So be careful if it's thin paper. When you've done this, it's going to be the moment to put your tape or double-sided tape. I would go for double-sided tape here that, rather than hot glue because hot glue is going to make it thicker and this is not what we want to go for. So we're going to start putting glue on our little tabs here. All these little tabs are going to go inside your box. Okay, all these here, this little tiny bit here, all these are going to go inside, we, which means that we have to put glue on the outside, which is on the right side of your paper, the one that is looks nice, you want on the outside. So you're going to take your double-sided tape, this is Tombow, it can be anything, just make sure that it's going to hold on well, and you're going to put some double-sided tape on all these bits, just the small ones, again, on the outside. Oop, come on here and here I'm gonna do the let me take this away before I put my paper on there I'm gonna do the exact same thing here just on these on the small ones Good, here, yep, that's good. And this one's done. Okay, now you've done the little flaps, you're going to take care of the big ones. And again, the small from the good side, the big ones, we're going to put double sided tape, a double sided tape here, sorry, everywhere, but we're going to put it on the inside of your paper. So do it again on all flaps, all the outer ones, and you don't have to put tape all over here, except if your tape is not that good, otherwise the outer edge would be enough. Especially here when it's thin paper. That's good. The, the same thing here on the inside. I'm going to try with my uh, ETG gun. Yeah, because it's bigger, I can do it easier. Okay, I think I've got tape everywhere, and now we're going to put it together. So we're going to start by the lid, the smallest piece, and what you need to do is first take care of these little babies here, the little flaps. So we're going to put the flaps again inside, and then you're going to align as best as possible the other piece here on it. I hope you can see it well. I tend to do two big close-ups. I'm going to do it again anyway. Just a little tiny bit. Okay, so you're going to align this as an angle as perfect as you can, okay? And you, you can start everywhere you want. As long as you start by these little, these little pieces. And I've got glue sticking out. Okay, let me see that. Okay, you'll see probably better when I'm going to do the box, the bottom part. So first these here, and the last one will be here. Okay, and then you can make sure with your bone folder to really see if everything is sticking together. That's really important. You don't want a, your box to open up. Okay. And then you have this. When you have this, you need to put these little bits and fold them on themselves. That's why I was telling you if it's too long, it's going to go inside your box and this is not what you're going to go to. Okay? Going to go for. Going to go for. 
So you just fold them all back in place. It's really, this, this project is so easy to do. I guess that if the box was a little bigger, you could do this with your kids too. Because I'm sure they would have a lot of fun doing this. <coughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so our lid is done. Now we're going to take care of the box. And I've got some glue here. <coughs> Please excuse me. So we're going to do the same thing. First, take care of these little tabs. Put it straight there. There. And maybe you would like to make for each guest, depending on how many people you have, different colors. So you won't have to do all the same. I have a lot of paper and I still don't use it all. That's where I write my paper, so heavier paper would probably it would not happen. Okay, be careful with this. I won't be using this box. And now that all your little flaps are there, again, make sure they're really sticking well. And then, again, you just fold these big parts in. This is why when you burnish really well your score lines, this is going to help you very much. Because it's just closing on itself. There you go, there, and there. Uh, I didn't do a really good job here, but let me see if I can take it off. Yeah. I didn't do my score line very well here, so I'm going to try and make it look a little bit nicer. There we go. Okay, so now there is something you could do here if you wanted to. It could reinforce your box. Is using a piece of paper, maybe something black, and tracing out here the bottom of your box. You could put this piece of paper into here and it would make it even sturdier if you want to put some canvas in here. Now this box is over and you can put the lid on it. Because it is in centimeters, the lid is a little bit bigger, but if you use heavy cardstock, it's going to be even better because this is going to be thicker. So I would absolutely recommend, after you doing the both, using, because I don't have this big gap here as I do with this box. Now for the decoration, of course you can go with whatever you want. What I'm going to do here, I've cut this piece, just I freehanded, um, into some uh, black paper. I'm going to glue it down. You could also, if you wanted to, maybe I'm going to put it here. You could uh, put some foam on the back. And that could be a presentation. You don't have to shut it close. You could leave it a little open. Um, and concerning the crowns, and I don't want to put too much because I just like the pattern paper. I've cut two pieces of these crowns. These crows. Crow. Crow. Anyway, um, <laughs> tell me how I'm supposed to pronounce that, I'm sorry. Crow, crows, crows, that's the way, I'm sorry, crows, okay. So, I cut two pieces just to make them sturdier. And now I'm going to stick them on top of each other, just using some double-sided glue, a little bit of the head. They really look like birds, normal birds to me, they don't really look like crows. So I'm just going to put them like this as well as I can do it. There I am. And now what I did in order to put it on the side here is just I'm going to use a little bit of hot glue, just a little dollop. And I didn't glue the two paws here so 
I'm just going to pretend that it's going to be over there. It looks a little bit more natural. So leave it there, don't move. And that you have it. And you can't really put it flat here because the tail is too long. So putting it on the side on an angle here is really making things nicer. And that's the way I want to decorate my boxes. I'm not going to do much more. You could maybe put some glitter here and there, but I don't want to. Uh, I'm just going to leave it plain. So this this another idea of little favorite boxes for Halloween. And again, you can make them really big using uh, this method. Please, if you like this video, give me some thumbs up, subscribe, and don't forget to share. Sharing is caring. Thank you very much. See you soon. Bye-bye.